It's tiki time. We're talking about Planner's Punch today. Planner's Punch is a drink that actually isn't really tiki. It kind of predates tiki. It uh, kind of falls into that traditional territory. And you know, like in music as well, when a song is listed as traditional, it's really hard, um, probably impossible to trace down an actual origin point or an inventor. It's sort of not something you can do. That doesn't stop people from taking credit for it. An issue of the English magazine Fun from 1878 gives credit to the Planters Hotel in South Carolina. They, uh, of course, like to take credit for it, uh, but as far as I understand, the drink predates that. It's a drink whose recipe is usually given as a rhyme. One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. So if you were to follow that, you would do one, and you're just working in ounces, one ounce of lemon juice, two ounces of something sweet, simple syrup, three ounces of rum, and uh, four ounces of water, usually. Uh, and then later, when ice came into the picture, you know, you get that from dilution from ice, not just like warm tap water. Did they have taps? Well water, not just warm well water. The uh, hotel from South Carolina, they give a much more fancified version of the poem. There's is, I'm just going to bring my notes up here. This is, you know, there's no mystery. There's notes involved sometimes. Uh, a wine glass with lemon juice fill of sugar, the same glass fill twice, then rub them together until the mixture looks smooth, soft, and nice. Of rum, then three wine glasses add, and four of cold water, please take a drink you'll then have that's not bad, at least so they say, in Jamaica. Yeah, that's not, I mean, anyway, I mean, they, they wrote that in 1878, I guess, and I think it hung on the wall somewhere in the bar, and then it got in that magazine, but I don't think they invented this drink. There's actually a lot of versions of this, too. Don the Beachcomber took it and made it into a tiki drink, and actually uh, used the formulation of it, that balancing act, the poem, so to speak, uh, as the basis, the foundation for a lot of his classic cocktails. Uh, he took it and elevated it into a tiki drink. He added a lot of grenadine and several different types of rums and things like that. Uh, and you are free to do so um, by working that same formula. You can elaborate on this drink any way you like. And maybe that's like a whole idea for like another episode where we could even just do riffs on Planter's Punch uh, off the cuff, just pulling things at random and putting them together and giving them names. That'd be fun. But today I want to kind of present a Roots version. Uh, it was weird, my voice turned 16 there. But today I kind of want to present the like what I would consider a Roots version as I found in Smuggler's Cove book by Martin Kate with Rebecca Kate. Um, it's a fantastic tiki bar, it's a fantastic book. So there's a link for the book uh, in the description below and in the comments. And uh, that'd be great. It'd be great for him, it'd be great for me. Buy the book. Anyway. Um, and if you're in San Francisco, please visit the bar. It is fantastic. We've talked a lot. Let's just make this drink. Uh, I'm going to take my shaker and I'm going to add to it an ounce of lime juice. Right, I use a jigger for that for job. It's just like going to just put it right in there. I need three quarters of an ounce Demerara syrup. And my Demerara, my trusty Demerara right here. I need a quarter ounce St. Elizabeth Allspice Dram. There's other allspice drams on the market. This one's great. Allspice, also known as pimento. It's a um, common Caribbean flavor ingredient. Shows up in a lot of tiki drinks, especially. I need three ounces of Jamaican rum. I'm using this Appleton Estate 12 year rare blend. I like this stuff, this is good rum. Especially for the money, it's pretty cheap. Labels out. And I need two dashes of Angostura bitters. I'm going to shake this over some cracked ice. And I'm going to open pour this into my Collins glass or a highball glass. Martin Kate calls it an open pour and a gated finish. So basically the idea is pour until you get to a certain point. And you've got kind of the right amount of ice and stuff in there. And when you can see that there's a lot left in your tin, or if there is a lot left in your tin, maybe here, just hold back that ice to make sure you've got enough space in the glass. Uh, let's garnish it immediately. Let's garnish it immediately. This is an emergency. This is my first drink of the day. 
Some people might say, hey, there's no mint in that drink. You shouldn't garnish it with mint. Like that that's just not a drink that calls for a mint garnish. But I hold that, uh, that that's not true. You know, you can make this drink any way you like. So we're gonna put a little mint in there. Boy, it almost doesn't need anything else, right? That's great. Let's just drink that. Thought I was gonna put some pineapple fronds in there, but there really isn't any pineapple in it. I mean, I suppose if you had it, a little tiki umbrella can't go can't go wrong with those. And I do have it. Yeah, it has a planter's punch. I don't know why I put an umbrella on it. Oh my god, that's good. Holy hell, I love this drink. Oh, I just found the new drink of summer, man. I'm real thirsty. Hold on. That is cool and refreshing and sweet, but not overly sweet. And the uh, allspice dram it just makes it taste so, uh, I, I would say Christmassy in some ways, but like, not really. It tastes tropical, Caribbean. Um, <clears throat> very, very lovely. Um, leaves a really great taste in your mouth that just lingers. Uh, the rum and everybody is just cooperating very, very nicely in here. Mm. And I, I stand by my mint garnish. I think that little blast of mint in your nose when you drink this sounds kind of gross. Uh, that little sniff of mint as you're sipping this uh, really gives this drink another dimension that is, is extremely pleasurable. <laughs> it's freaking great, man. I have also read that, you know, sure, it sounds like they have a great claim. They're called the Planters Hotel. This is Planters Punch, but I've read that tradition would hold, I think Martin Kate actually explains this in his book, that um, the planters in question were plantation owners in the Caribbean. And so while everybody else was making their money for them, they'd be sitting on the porch sipping their punch, uh, you know, staying cool in the hot summer. It is freaking great. Very easy to make, a few ingredients. In a lot of ways, like this Roots foundational drink, this is the basis formula for so much tiki for so many tiki cocktails, for so many cocktails in general. A lot of you have probably heard that rhyme, one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, and four of weak, uh, in a lot of places, in a lot of ways, uh, not really even associated with this drink. Well, as far as I understand, it is supposed to be the formula for this drink, but you can apply that formula to any number of drinks, to any number of, uh, that kind of holds true for a lot of drinks. It works out really well. Um, a lot of things just happen to fall into or very close to that formulation kind of by default. I'm gonna restrain myself from finishing it. There's a lot of rum in there happily. This is how to drink the show. I'm making cocktails and how to drink them. I hope you like the show. Uh, if you did, please subscribe, turn on notifications. That's great. It helps me out a lot. And tell other people to check out the show. Spread the word, evangelize it. We're a great show. You should uh, share it. You should share it. Hey, share, like, and subscribe. That's a thing people say. They say that in all those things. So if you like the show, please subscribe. Um, I come out with two episodes a week now. It's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I'm on Twitter at How to Drink. I'm on Instagram at How to Drink. And I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. Uh, if you have a uh, one, of, one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak recipe that you prefer, I'd love you if you leave me a comment and tell me about it. Um, I like this one a heck of a lot. It'd be tough to improve on, really. It's just so... Stripped down, fresh, clean, and well balanced. Very well balanced. Excellent sipping. I mean, well, not sipping. I kind of guzzled it. But uh, I do declare, here in the dog days of summer, I need myself a tall glass of something cool.